Well, all that rain we had yesterday and early on this morning has moved over away from us over toward the east scene. Wide swath of some showers and rain over towards Georgia and into the Carolinas and seeing a batch of rain over just south of the Big Bend. All thanks to that stationary front that's how it moved away from us, just leaving us with some of these lower cloud coverage and we'll be seeing cloud coverage continue into this evening and tonight. We're seeing there we are some low, that low stratus deck just kind of towering over Baton Rouge right now on the cooler side, 70 degrees for temperature and dew points in the low 60s and we'll get some more drier air to slowly work its way in overnight before we have a change in our weather pattern later on to the week. I'll touch on in a minute but tonight we have some northerly winds moving in around five miles an hour and that's going to help bring us some cooler temperatures near the surface for our overnight lows to be down to about the mid 50s up to the north and around the upper 50s here in Baton Rouge about 59 degrees so it's going to be a cooler and comfortable night as we have all that rain moved out of the area so we'll be seeing more dry conditions tonight and into our tomorrow. So look on the future track. Here we have, you see the northern and northeasterly winds continuing tonight with cloud coverage, but into tomorrow morning, that cloud coverage will begin to break up a little bit into the afternoon for more partly sunny skies. I think we'll see a little bit more clouds than what this model is depicting for the afternoon, but we'll see some sunshine throughout the day tomorrow. At first, again, partly sunny skies and winds will still be out of the north and northeast into the day, bringing in some cool temperatures uh, once again for some slightly below average highs and heading into our Monday and Tuesday. We're still going to see these northeasterly winds as we're still on that northern side of that frontal boundary and clouds will begin to move back in heading into our Tuesday. So tomorrow for your Easter plans, looking pretty good on the cooler side, starting off into the low 60s, heading into about those low 70s for our highs. Not, no chance for some rain tomorrow, so any outdoor plans would be good. It'll be a little bit, maybe a little bit breezy around 5 to 10 miles per hour for our winds again from the northeast. But as we head toward about midweek, I did mention that pattern change in our weather. We've seen a couple days of some dry days and then notice our rain chances are going to increase by Tuesday into our Wednesday and Thursday as we're watching a system beginning to develop that's going to bring us another chance for some rain. So let's go take a look at it. We have high pressure right now working its way down south on the eastern side of the U.S. That's helping to keep our winds northeasterly and easterly heading into Louisiana. So that's helping to keep some of those cool temperatures moving in but heading into the Tuesday and to Wednesday Day, the high pressure begins to slide southward and as it does so it's going to begin to tighten up the pressure gradient between the high and the low pressure that's going to begin to develop. And that's going to help our winds be a little bit more on the breezy side, the windy side into our Tuesday. So you may have been hearing about a tropical low forming possibly, but this low is going to be non-tropical as it forms near the Gulf of Mexico and begins to meander before it moves to the north later into the week. But what it will do is bring our rain chances back up heading into Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday, and we could be seeing some heavy rainfall, especially near the coast, but know that the rainfall is going to be very dependent on, on where exactly that low tracks northwards. But right now we're seeing roughly about maybe an inch or maybe some higher amounts down to the coast, but that could change. So make sure you stay close to the forecast as we get close to uh, Tuesday and to Wednesday. So in 70 forecast tomorrow, that's a couple days looking nice, but our morning low is going to be into the 50s, 70s, and the chance for rain comes back again to Tuesday, Wednesday, and highs are will begin to warm up into the upper 70s and then once again, Sydney back into the 80s by next weekend.